cataclysmic terror. Gut-wrenching. Aggressive, it's violent, it's brutal, it's savage. Earthy, raw. Cold, brittle, visceral, for sure. Controversial. Chaotic. Suspenseful. Spiritual. Human. Personal at times. Unkempt. Frightening. Primitive, and yet extraordinarily modern. Full spectrum of emotion. It's still shocking. begins with the adoration of the earth, basically a pagan ritual. The elders come out and dance, and they choose the young woman who will be sacrificed to the god of spring. In the second part, you know, many things happen, but ultimately this virgin dances herself to death. It's a, it's a Russian folk tale. Uh, there's a lot of Russian folk music in it. His essential musical procedure is to break all of his material into its smallest elements and then sort of reassemble it in, in odd ways, sort of like a cubist painting. It really did broaden the spectrum uh, to which our ears hear. Um, and it, it, it opened up our, our minds to, to what is possible. He was really on the cutting edge of a lot of things in terms of how to write for orchestra and, uh, you know, the the uh, clashing of tonalities against each other at the same time. It's so strident and so based on these regular rhythms that it's almost like in order to play it, you need to have this metronome going in your head. You push the norm. You're playing the the, the loudest or the softest or the you know the the meanest you can. Uh, you can do and it feels great. It must have been really, really brutal for those musicians to see it for the first time in that kind of writing, such, again, the word visceral. Uh, that power uh, must have been amazing. It stands at the crossroads of artistic expression in the modern age. There's a lot of it that looks forward and that is very innovative. It's also very much based on tradition that there are moments where you have this in indescribable beauty that's butting right up against this incredible violence and, and uh, you know, really animalistic type thing almost. And, and you mix human spirituality into it too. It's really, an in it's such a, an interesting piece and that's probably why there was so much fuss about it when it was first performed. Because of the way that people talk about this piece, Oh, it's, it's primal and it's savage and it's, um, it, it is all those things, but um, that doesn't mean it's inaccessible. I'm really surprised when people say that, that Stravinsky scares them or they don't understand it because I think Stravinsky totally speaks in a tonal language. He, he speaks in the language that we, we understand. It was one of the first pieces that made me fall in love with music. My daughter actually is only six, sat through an entire performance of Rite of Spring when she was four years old. And uh, to her, there's nothing alien about the sound of it. It's just, it's very intriguing and captivating. I think everybody can find something in there that they can, their, their inner crazy person can come out a little bit.